Hi everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. Today we are doing kind of a spin-off on the Dollar Tree Slime Challenge that I did. It's the Dollar Tree Nail Challenge. Sorry, I'm very distracted by this boy <laughs> who keeps leaning in. But this is your intro intro? Yeah, Luke's here with no, no. me. We just bought Crocs. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said that. So I saw Christine from Simply Nailogical do this video way long ago and I really loved the idea but recently I started getting my nails done and I've never really done this to my nails. I used to always do my nails and do nail art on my nails but then when I got these for videos I stopped doing my nails obviously but I'm almost done with this set so I thought now would be a perfect time to paint over them so that is why we're doing this challenge now. So I don't really have a plan of action on what kind of nail art I want to do so hopefully something in there inspires me but let's go in there. So Luke just got scared because we're in the store so I'm now my own vlogger. He's scared. He's scared someone's gonna kick us out. Okay so there's a bunch of nail polish. Hmm. Really should have thought of a color. Okay, so first thing I need to top coat. A quick dry, what is this? Quick dry. I was poked my side. I don't know why I was so scared. It wasn't that close. Or use this. What is that? Glitter. <laughs> That's for makeup. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I should do a gradient. I'm gonna do a southern gradient. That's a good gradient. Very good. Gonna get them. <laughs> Great camera work. Great camera work. Okay. I have these because I actually want them. The gold or the pearl? Which one do you think? <laughs> Which one do you think? Pearl. Gold. <gasps> That's actually gonna be so cute. So let's see if in the makeup section they have sponges. what we got. Perfect. Okay, so we are done in there. We made short work. See, this dollar store has the best nail stuff. It's got a full wall of nail stuff for Luke because he was like, is that a dollar? First thing that I got is some cotton swabs just because I felt like we might need them. Triangle wedges for sponges because my goal when I got in there was I wanted to do a gradient, nail clippers, and some emery board what is it called why is this person trying to catch a bird then I also got this one just because I needed a wooden stick I probably could have just got one but I was in like a haze so I just got both so I got a protect your nails quick dry top coat and I also got a super dry quick dry See, it never says base coat on here, but I think that's what this one is, a base coat. So top coat and base coat. My goal is to have a gradient of these colors. That is the ideal gradient I want, but I got two other colors just in case. So another white, just in case this one isn't uh, pigmented enough. And same thing for the pink, just in case it's not pigmented. Some little sponges for the artwork. And then this little like... This stuff works crazy good. <laughs> this which is like these clear things. So I'm gonna try and do this. I've done these before and it's difficult. And then I thought maybe if I'm feeling ambitious, I could try and put some pigment on the tips. So that's everything we got. We're gonna cut to me doing my nails now. I'll see you guys then. All right, it is now the next day and I have all of my nail products. Bring it in. I actually did test the white Billy nail polish yesterday and it is really, really opaque. So this is gonna be amazing. So I think we may as well just start this up. You guys know what we're doing. Uh, the thing I'm gonna start firstly with is mentioning my second angle and it is right here. So the first thing we're gonna take a spin with is this super dry, quick dry, rapidment sec. Yeah, I don't know. That's just what it says on here. I'm pretty sure this is a base coat. I'm hoping because I already have a other top coat, so hopefully. All right, so let's open this up, take a smell. Oh, it smells like nail polish, of course. Obviously. And obviously my nails look a little bit bad right now because they're super grown out and that's actually why I'm doing this video. 
is because I plan on getting them actually done soon, so I thought there's no harm to covering them up right now. I do like having them done, but I do miss painting them, if you know what I mean. I want both. I'm gonna be like Susie from Nail Career Education. This was very good. Thank you. That was a great imitation, <laughs> okay. That was nothing like Susie. So hard to read because it's white nail polish and the writing on the bottle is white. But we're gonna be using this just to basically get the base of our nails just because I'm going to try to do a gradient and I can't simply do a gradient over this yellow. So, okay. So this is the first coat and it's pretty opaque. So I'm gonna do a second coat obviously, but I mean, this is not bad. It dries so quickly, it kind of reminds me of Whiteout, but it's nail polish. I would go as far as to say I suggest this polish to people who want a really opaque white. This Billy Cosmetics from the dollar store, one dollar, in a French white. That is why it's so white. From watching Christine, I learned that if it's a French tip white, it's usually more opaque because they're trying to do the French tip nails. Opening them all up, getting them ready. Okay, you have to understand I have no idea what I'm doing. So, okay, I'm just going to take the white, paint it on. I watch a lot of nail tutorials, but I don't do really intense nail art on myself. That gradient is not the cutest. Okay, let's just try it. Should I have the dark at the end? I mean, there's a gradient there. It doesn't look amazing. Let's try it again. Usually when I watch Christine do gradients, she has to do like three coats, so I'm not getting disappointed yet. This is normal. Oh yeah, look at compared the first to the second. So here's the second coat first coat. It's getting better, you guys. Oh my gosh, why am I so surprised that I can do this? I just assume now whenever I try something new, I'm gonna fail miserably because that's how it's been going lately. I don't really know why. Okay, so I'm making my desk really dirty, so I'm gonna use something else I bought. I actually got this at the dollar store a long time ago, so it is still a dollar store thing. <laughs> Like, look at that, that looks so pretty. What the heck? I'm like scared I'm gonna ruin it. Just something bad's gonna happen. I'm going to do these up. I'm actually super impressed with how this is going so far. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect it to work, so. And I didn't not expect it to work because it's from the dollar store. I didn't expect it to work because I'm not like the most talented, you know? Now I just have to try and clean this up, which will arguably take me five hours. Later that same evening. Not even kidding, that actually took an hour to clean up my nails, but now that they're done, they look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanna take a shot of my nails now because I kind of feel like by the end of this, they are going to get ruined. So I just wanna acknowledge how they look right now, especially from a distance. It looks like they're actually like done and nice, so. This looks like a pretty great nail polish. Let's open it up and hopefully the gradient looks even better once we've put on the top coat. Honestly, very impressed with the nail polish. It's really opaque and nice and that's all I really look for in nail polish in general is for the it to be opaque. Uh, and chipping obviously, but this top coat's apparently gonna help with that. So, so now I'm contemplating using these L'Oreal Color Rich Nail Lingerie, because I think you're gonna be able to see through it. <sighs> this is so ambitious of me. I just feel like this is going to end really badly. Oh my goodness, I just chipped one. I just chipped a nail. I need to put my hair back with one hand. Actually, I'm not gonna be able to. Okay. <sighs> I'm just so shook up now. I thought it was dry. You lie. That rhymed. So I kind of want to do one of these nail lingeries on my index finger as a statement nail and then do the gold on all of the tips, which will hopefully cover up that as well. Kind of looks like, like jelly. Oh my goodness, I'm nervous. I don't know how to do this. And set it on the nail. That actually is looking okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I know that I wanna do the LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. This is obviously eyeshadow, but Luke showed me it. And then I had this sparked idea when I saw these gold 
little nail covers to do this. So we'll see how it goes though. I'm gonna try it first, I think on my thumb because it's the biggest space and just wet the tip and down into the gradient and see if we can just, mm, I don't really like how that's doing that. I think it's time to break into these eyeshadow brushes. So I wanna have it go from like a gradient again. And then maybe I'll do like a half nail with that. Maybe, actually, I don't know about that. Okay, and now I'm doing the whole nail, so. Honestly, this is a mess. Mm, I mean, I'm hoping now I'm gonna go over with a bunch of top coat. I'm hoping that really seals it all in. Honestly, this top coat feels like water. I don't know what the deal is. Now I think it is time we do a little bit of a montage of our nails. Okay you guys, so that has been me doing my nails using all products from the Dollar Tree. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely don't think this is a challenge to do your nails with items from the Dollar Store because truly and honestly, the Dollar Store has everything that you need to do your nails. I just think that more, the talent is where you need and I don't think I am a nail tech obviously. This video was a lot of fun to do and I did miss doing my nails so it was fun to sit for a couple hours and do them. I would say my favorite nail is probably my thumb. I think it looks the most professional. Other than that they look very amateur. I think from a distance people would believe you got them done. Oh yeah from a distance it's like wow where'd you get your nails done? And then I'm they're like look at it and then they're like I really hope you guys enjoyed this video though. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. We are so close to 700,000. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm a professional in any of the fields or nothing, but I mean, I think it's fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.